Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 3 of season 2 of our Braga career mode here on FIFA 19. In today's episode, like the last one, we start with a Liga News game, but this time against CD Firenze, and then we have the Swedish side in the qualifying rounds of the Europa League, the second leg at home. We are taking a 2-1 lead into this second leg, so not the best scoreline to take into the second leg, but we do have two away goals, which is pretty big, and they didn't deserve a goal in that game, to be honest. They were absolutely dreadful, so I am pretty confident, based on that first leg performance from them, that we are going to get through to the group stages. We've got two wins out of two so far in the league. How have CD Forense started? They are in 13th place, two games played, zero wins, one draw, one defeat, scoring two, conceding three. So not a terrific start from them. So let's get into this game away at CD Forense and make it three wins from three. Jardas on the ball, look at the space here for Palinja, just over the crossbar, seven and a half minutes gone and that was almost 1-0. Lucas Lario picks up the loose ball and Cunate, is he going to keep it? Nope, the defender does well but can't find a teammate, nine minutes gone and it's been a dreadful start from the home side, hopefully it remains like that for the rest of the game and we can pick up another three points. Loom out to Jardas, now Kunate. can we find Lucas Alario, no, what is Kunate doing, that was a terrible pass, a long ball forward and Ayuton is going to win it of course, Horta, Palinja into Loom, short into Kunate, Lucas Alario and again, but it's going to fall to Kunate who just gave it away for the second time in the last minute or so, Palinja into Kunate, brilliant turn, Kunate easily over the crossbar, the 15 minutes gone, we have been so dominant in this game. And if it keeps going like this, it's only a matter of time before we open the scoring. Gazal on the ball, plays a decent pass out to this right-hand side in Anderson. A little cross in, and of course we are going to break up that attack with Raul. Now Loom, decent pass out to Jardas on this right-hand side, through to Canate, and it's a fantastic pass. It's a very good pass, short into Lucas Solario. Good block. And they are going to come away with the ball, but we are going to keep it here with Loom. Palinja into Ayuton. Palinja once again to his right-hand side is Jardas with the curler off the post. And they get the ball away. Oh, that was so, so close to being 1-0. Jardas loses possession. 23 minutes gone. We have been so good in this game. And I'm really surprised it isn't 1-0. And Ayuton does well, but it's offside anyway. But 24 minutes gone. CD Forense haven't been in this game whatsoever. Bruno on the ball on this left-hand side for CD Forense. Plays a decent ball down the line. A cross in. Falls back to Thiago Silva. A cross in. It's a very good delivery. What a save. What a save. 28 minutes gone. That is their first attack. And they almost open the scoring. And it was sneaking in for 1-0. Brilliant save from the goalkeeper and it results in the first corner of the match it's a very good delivery as well a header towards goal and thankfully it was a dreadful one and it's going to be a goal kick Palinja into Loom now Lucas Alario Palinja once again into Kinate patient play we don't need to rush it's still nil nil into Palinja low and it nearly sneaks into that bottom corner Oh my god, that was so close. It was a toe punt. <laughs> it was a bloody toe punt, but the keeper left it like it was going miles wide, and it goes just wide. Unfortunately, it goes just wide. 33 minutes gone, and I can't believe we haven't scored yet. Palinja into Loom. Right-hand side is Jardas, and okay, the CD Frenzy man plays it straight back to Loom, and that's a very good pass out to this left-hand side in Horta. Oh, great first touch. A cross in. It's a dangerous one. Cunate back into the box. And it's good defending. That was almost a brilliant goal. We get our first corner. Jardas whips it in straight to Raul with the header. And it's gone the wrong side of the post. 
A linear with the tackle, but it falls straight to a CD Forense man, but Loom wins it straight back for us. Out to Horta on this left-hand side. Look at Jardas at the back post. We're not going to find him. We're going to turn his side with Horta, and he's still going. What a run! But he gets easily out-muscled, and Gazal eventually gets the ball away. Five minutes left to play of the first half, and I'll be very surprised if we don't go into the break 1-0 up. Loom with the long-range strike is a very good strike. And it smashes off the crossbar and they get the ball away. Oh my god, we are getting closer and closer and closer. And Kanate, I thought it was Loom, but Kanate wins possession back for us. And can we have one last attack in this half? Short into Kanate, very good pass. To his left-hand side is Lucas Solario. What a finish. Seconds left to play of the first half. And finally, we have scored a freaking goal. CD Forense nil, Braga 1. Ayuton forward to Palinia. To his right hand side is Loom. 53 minutes gone, and I'm really desperate to grab that second goal. Vigras with a very good pass into Palinia. Forward to Kinate. Lucas Alario. Kinate once again. Brilliant play between the two strikers, but the finish didn't really have any power on it from Kinate, and it's a simple save. Oh my god, I thought that was going to be 2-0 and game over. Loom wins it back over the top to this left-hand side in Horta. And he's going to keep it in and we're going to whip it across. And it's a very good cross. Kunate, what a header. Wow, wow, wow. 57 minutes gone. Fantastic cross and an even better header. Does that even make sense? How can I say a header is better than a cross? I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but you get the point. 57 minutes gone. CD Forense nil. Braga 2. Look at this delivery from Horta. And then the header. Absolutely fantastic. Free kick for CD Forense. Thiago Silva whips it in. And it's going to be an easy clearance from Lucas Alario. What a start he has had to his Braga career. And here we go on the break. Jardas on this right hand side through to Kinate. And the pass isn't great. And Gazal just hoofs it away. For a throw-in. We're going to try and find Kunate. And it's a very good throw-in. Great first touch. And he's done well to find a teammate. Loom into Palinja. We're going to try to curl it with Palinja. It's going to fall to Kunate. And they do get the ball away. 63 minutes gone. And we are going to make a couple of changes. I think we're going to bring Horta off on that left-hand side for Martins. And we're going to bring Ricardo Ryler on for Palinja. Lucas Alario on the ball. Out to Horta on this left-hand side. Can we find Kunate again? Yes, we can. I don't know what the hell happened there. Going to lay it off here to Loom with the long-range strike. It gets deflected. And it's going to be a corner kick. I don't know what Kunate tried to do. He tried to header it and it just hit his body. But 67 minutes gone. Can we grab that third goal? It's a very good delivery. Loom with the header. And it hits the post and goes out for a goal kick. That was almost 3-0. And three points. Seventy minutes played. CD Forense get a free kick. It's a decent delivery. It goes all the way through. And thankfully the right back is in the way. And we are going to come away with a possession. Over the top to Martins who's got fresh legs. And it's a great first touch. Is it a great second touch? Nope. I think I tried just a little bit too much there. I tried to show off a little bit. It didn't quite work out for me. And we have one possession back. And I've given it straight to them. Anderson on this right-hand side. has got two players charging into the box. And what a cross and what a save. Open goal. Oh, a brilliant save once again. A header towards goal. And it's gone in. But thankfully, the offside flag is up. Oh, my God. What just happened? 15 minutes left to play. And somehow, the score is still 2-0. Oh my god. Let me catch my breath and take a look at the replay. Absolutely fantastic double save from the goalkeeper to keep the score at 2 0. It was a brilliant cross in. And what a save the first one was. Basically straight at him, but still very good reactions. And then this brilliant save. It should have been in the back of the net there, to be honest, on that second attempt. But still, two brilliant saves to keep the score at CD Forense nil, Braga 2. CD Forense charging down this left-hand side. They've got three players charging into the box. Short into Fasilev and thankfully 
I'm not sure if it was a good piece of defending or a brilliant save, but we do come away with possession, which is the most important thing. And somehow, the score is still 2-0. The last 10 minutes, CB Forense have been very, very good. Lucas Alario on the ball into Fabio Martins on this left-hand side. Can we find Lucas Alario once again? We almost can, but Tavera's in the way. Five minutes left to play, and I really hope the game has been wrapped up for those three points. But they have been upping the pressure over the last 10 to 15 minutes. Raul on the ball. Fantastic pass out to Fabio Martins. Short into Lucas Solario. It's a great turn as well into Kinate. And it goes straight to a blue shirt. But can we win it back? Of course we can. Ayuton win and possession back for us. Ricardo Ryla out to that right hand side. And it's a fantastic pass into Jada. Seconds left to play in this game. Kinate short into Loom. Now Martins, a scoop turn. Is it worked out? Nope. Good defending once again. And I think that's going to be game, set and match. Three points once again in Liga News. What a start to the campaign we have had. Tavares on the ball into Bruno. A cross goes in. It's a very good delivery. And Gazal with a fantastic header. But as you can see, top left, we have played over the three minutes added on. And that is game, set and match. That is going to be the last action of the game very good cross and a brilliant header and we have conceded our first goal this season but as we kick off hopefully the referee is going to blow for full time and there is the full time whistle cd forense one braga two once again a very very good performance that is now nine points out of nine to our liga news season what a start to the campaign we have had Ricardo Ryder on the ball, short into Kinate to his right hand side. What on earth was that? But back into the box to Ricardo Ryder. And it's a dreadful finish. Seven minutes gone, and that is the first shot away to go. And it should at least be hitting the target. That was a pathetic shot. Trinko on the ball out to this right hand side, Inez Gallo. And it's a very good pass. Brilliant play from the winger across in. It's a very good cross. Kinate with the header. And it's not even hit the target. For someone like him, that is a glorious chance. And look how far wide it is. Oh my god, that is dreadful from Kinate. That should have been 1-0 on the night. And 3-1 on aggregate. Loom on the ball forward to Kinate. Just about gets into him. Back into Kinate from Loom. Into Nuvice. This is very good play and a very good start to this match. Ricardo Ryla into Loom. Oh, it's a dreadful pass, but somehow... We have one possession back. Kinate back into Esguayo maybe. Oh, it's a fantastic pass. I see Nuvice arriving in the box. What a delivery into him. And Nuvice hits it wide. 24 minutes gone. How was that? Not 1-0. Victory on the ball into ring on this right-hand side for the Swedish team. Back into the fullback. This is their best spell of the game so far. They really haven't threatened our goal whatsoever. And that just sums up their attack in play. Poor touch from Ring. And it's an easy interception. Loom out to this right-hand side. And there's Gallo. Kinate just behind him is Paulinho. Left-hand side. What a pass that is from the big man up top into Trinko. A cross in. It's going to be a goal kick, isn't it? Yes. Oh, unbelievable. 95% possession for passing, though. That is absolutely brilliant. 30 minutes gone. And if it keeps going like this, we're going to run away with the game. We have been so, so good, but we just, at the moment, can't find the back of the net. Rao on the ball, plays a very good pass out to Bruno Viana. Now into Esgaio. This has been a very good start to the game. We just cannot find the back of the net. Once we do, I think it will be game over. Trinko, very good turn inside, but Vitri was just too strong. Five minutes left to play of the 90. Top left, we've had 61% possession. Absolutely dominant in this game. Like I said... We just cannot find the back of the net. Loom out to that left-hand side in Trinko. And once again, it's a very good pass across in to Kanate with the diving header. And he just couldn't direct it towards goal with enough power. Oh, my God. Again, a simple save for the goalkeeper. But here we go, moving forward into Paulinho. 
But Larson does well, and it's a very good attack. All seconds left to play, and it looks as though we're going to be going into the break somehow at nil-nil. Walker on the ball for the Swedish team. Decent pass out to this left-hand side. Across goes in. It's a very good delivery. What a save. It's up in the air. Open goal. And it's gone the wrong side of the post. And it's a goal kick. 52 minutes gone. I really don't care about the score in this game, to be honest. If we win, if we draw, as long as we get through to the group stages. So we have a very good chance of going deep into this competition. Because it is one of my main aims, like I have already said alongside winning the Liga News title to at least reach the semi-finals of this competition. That will be very, very successful. Here we go, charging down this right-hand side. Going to play it short into Nuvice. What a pass, Nuvice! Oh, I thought it went in. I thought that went right into the top corner, but it's gone over. I should have squared it. What a strike that is. And it's gone just over. I should have squared it. I think Paulinho was all on his own for a tap-in. 10 minutes into the second half and I thought that was going to be 1-0 on the night 3-1 on aggregate and game over Loom on the ball oh, it's a very good pass into Ricardo Ryla, Paulinho out to this right hand side, back into Paulinho, first time finish from Paulinho and it's a very good block from Larson. I thought that was going to be 1-0, we do get the first corner of the second half, Trinko whips it and it's a good delivery a header towards goal from Paulinho and it's gone miles over the crossbar for a goal kick. Very good delivery and Paulinho should be hitting the target and opening the scoring. Wilson Eduardo into Esgayo just about keeps possession and what a pass that is into Horta. Ah, oh, fantastic first touch into Nuvice. To his right hand side is Esgayo to wrap up the game. But it's gone over the crossbar once again. 20 minutes left to play and for some reason I just can't score in this game I don't know what the hell is going on we have been so good so many chances and it should be at least two or three on the night and it's nil nil Porter on this left hand side decent pass into new vice and I run straight into an opposition player this match has been so frustrating. Five minutes off the 90 left. The player cross goes in. We do get it away and we should keep it away. And I played it straight to Walker. This match has been so, so frustrating. And finally, we are going to come away with possession. Short into Eduardo. Now Wilson Eduardo out to this left-hand side in Horta. Can we get past the defender? Yes, we can. It's brilliant play from Horta. And he's still going. We're going to smash it. A goal with Horta. And it's gone just past the post. But seconds left to play in this game. And I think it is game, set and match. We are going into the knockout stages. Because even if they score and win 1-0. It's 2-2 on aggregate. And we win on away goals. The game has finished goalless. And I seriously don't know how. We deserved to win this match on the night. Very, very comfortably. But the most important thing is we are advancing into the group stages of the Europa League. So after three games, we have a 100% record alongside Sporting, scoring seven goals, conceding just one. We are a few days away from the transfer deadline day, but there's going to be no more ins or outs at the club. In the next episode, we are at home to Belenenses and then away at Sporting. As you can see... The first team in the group we can see is Basel. I haven't looked at the group yet, so we are about to see the other two teams together. So we have Basel, we have Arsenal. Oh my god, we have Arsenal in our group and Swedish side, Ike. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. So the next episode, Belenenses at home and then to end the episode, a very tough game away at Sporting. So that's going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.